I was, uh, I was the lion in the Wizard of Oz. In jail. In prison. I, can, I don't do anything goes. I can, I, I can do some stuff. I can be the lion from the Wizard of Oz in prison. <laughs> When the first time I saw a light switch turn on, you just thought it was like daytime all of a sudden. I was like, yeah, I was like, what madness is this? That's yeah. why I used to talk like that. I don't talk like that much anymore. Right. But I, I, what madness ye lore hath brought before the, thine eyes? <laughs> and then I just smash it into bits. <laughs> most ridiculous thing. I mean, like, I saw Inception last week, and this is weirder. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, I feel like I'm in an Inception right now. You know what? I have to say Ellen that. Ellen Page built this world for me. Yeah. I can't believe this exists, to be honest. I, yeah, many people can't believe that it exists. It's odd, though, that you can't believe that it exists, and you're actually physically here. I, this was on our bucket list. Yes. Yeah, because we, we've list. always we drove past shop. this yeah, waffle yeah, yeah. place, and we're like, what is this waffle shop, and why is it only open in the middle of the night? So. <laughs> it's very cool. Christine and I don't know each other at, at all. We, we met this morning. Just this morning yeah. over waffles and coffee. Uh -huh. um, but, uh, but now we're, now this is amazing. It's definitely a nerd tree. Someone to understand you like I do. It's a Chill Will Waffle Show with yeah, Matt Sandler go. and this with Matt Chill Sandler. Will. This is my new friend this Matt is my Sandler. New friend, Chill Will. Wait, what so do you do you keep your raps clean? Uh no, because this is my life. This is what I do every day. So I agree with that. I mean I can't you know rapping is life and life isn't always clean. I can't bleep out my life. <laughs> I it can't, is what it is. I've tried believing in my life. It's not fun. People get annoyed. Exactly. What qualifies you to do this? Uh, knowing the right people. Oh, you know these people that end this? Sort of. And being at the right place at the wrong time. So they get a different time. host every night? Yeah, I'm sorry, my wife's calling me. Hang on, I gotta talk to her. Alright, no, that's fine. Go ahead. Hey, honey. Y'all go. You're on, you're, you're on, I'm talking to you on, on the show. So tonight, we're going to be talking about theories that conspiracize theories, theories, also known as conspiracy theories. Think about where the word co comes from. Co. Co, C-O. And it can't stand alone. What do you need? You need a hyphen. Now think you about what's a hyphen. hyphen. A hyphen is a minus sign. A so minus. you're already not working together. So I don't away. even see how you co anything, really. You subtract. Subtracting. Taken away from the really, basic element. Really, you're saying, Cole, fuck you, I'm doing this on my own. That's symbolic right there. Right there, that's what, what is that talking about? on a cupcake. Now you got white Let's frosting. Break, that down. break it down. You got white frosting on what? On a black chocolate cupcake. cupcake. Now what's in between the black chocolate cupcake there and his go. ham? Exactly. Uh-huh. The white woman. The white Always queen. in between. The black cupcake and his ham. And his ham. It was a musical theater prison. It was a prison for people who were involved in musical theater who went astray. <laughs> you look stunned. You know, we're not, we weren't that organized. Um, we never really finished a show. We'd really? get a few acts, you know, a few scenes into it. Yeah. And things would go south. Right. I think I have pretty eyes. I don't think people look at each other's eyes enough. I think people should like really look in their eyes and not look in their eyes in the cliche way of like looking them in the eyes when they're saying something. Like really look at all the, the little details and crap in your eyes. You have a, an eye freckle. I know, it's right here, right? Yeah, it's more of like an eye pimple. I heard that your mother is African American. Um, I feel like we all come from Africa, really. But um, I'll leave it at that. I think we're all African American. Yeah. Now, how was that growing up? Being black. Being black. Being black in a white face was was traumatic. I think. I, I think. 
The, the hardest thing was when my school friends, my chums at school. Chums. Chums, yes, because I was raised white, you know. Right, oh, so like chums was the word. When I had my, my chums. Chums is the word. My chums at school uh, would, would constantly make make these, these, uh, these off-color jokes, these references. <laughs> Don't spit on my waffles. I'm sorry. These, these references. That was good. Okay, okay. I might need new waffles, dude. He totally spit on them. Okay. Uh, these, these references to uh, to uh, people of color as as being less than them, or or you know, spear shakers, these sorts of things. <laughs> spear shakers. Spear shakers. Because um, I grew up in a very rural area, but <laughs> they didn't know I was black, and that was really hard for me. I think. I, I think. Uh, now, did you ever want to like just bring your spear out and let them know that you were? A spear here's shaker? the thing. As a, as a chimpanzee, you'd be okay with eating a fellow chimpanzee? Uh, yeah, it'd be fun. But wouldn't you rather have a banana? Ooh, but that, what if there's no bananas? But there's always bananas, dude. Uh -huh, it's yeah. the jungle. Oh, I guess. What about pineapples? I don't think there's pineapples in the jungle. I think like pineapples like come from like Hawaii. And that's the only place they come from. That sucks. Oh yeah, tell me about it. I mean, it. monkeys can't swim. They can't swim across the ocean just to get a pineapple. I bet they get pineapples at the zoo, though. They do? I'm sure they do. Cool. Life is really interesting. I, it, re it really is. The thing about it is, like, I don't think I'm special anymore. I used to think that I was, like, some special guy uh, because... Like, you know, I'm gay and I'm black and like, but for the first time in my life, I realized I'm not anybody. And I think it's awesome to not be anybody. I'm thinking I have a thing called the crack shop. The crack shop? Yeah, it's actually, we have a full service crack house <laughs> with a talk show inside. I think it's fabulous. I miss my biological family. <laughs> your biological, your biological family, uh. Yes. <laughs> It's it's like a bunch of metal. It's a bunch of silver. <laughs> if if we could can we go visit my family? Can you take me there? Talking to a cup is so weird. <laughs> sure, we can go visit though. Sure. Do you sure, know where they live? Sure, we can go visit. Yeah. Oh, thanks. That feels nice. <laughs> and perhaps one day the dream simply ends, dissolves like a bubble. Poof and there is only the bright and shining, glorious, limitless, without boundary, effervescence, radiance of love that was all there was going on in the first place. Mm -hmm.